I said I'd be on guard. I said that this show's gaslighting me. And then I let my guard down. And I believed everything. The memory loss happened. It didn't happen. It did happen. Toma's memories are locked away in his heart. Kokoro just believed, baby. We had a great moment where we saved Index, but we destroyed... What was it? Orihime 1, the satellite. It's a big problem for Academy City. Stated. And Kazaki are supposed to go a little bit of soul searching. They told, you know, Toma that like, we'll, we'll be back for you, but not just yet. But that ending scene, that ending scene was stated in Director General or something, uh, Alistair, right? What's happening with the vampire? What's going on with the chosen girl that can like kill the supposed vampires if they do exist or not? And the existence hinges on deep blood being true. And if Imagine Break is real, does that mean God is real? Let's begin today's reaction. No recap? No recap. The new arc. Oh. Shrine Maiden and a bunch of corpses in the ground, almost like they're reaching out to her. Is this the girl? That Alistair said we found the girl that could maybe kill vampires if they exist? That voice acting. It's very familiar voice acting, huh? Right? Listen to it. That's the A-list voice actor. Science cult miasma Misawa Pram School. It's been two weeks now. More time has passed than the amount of time that we spent with Index during the prologue. Therefore, all that memory lost. Is, it doesn't even fucking matter, bro. That, but how much memory did he lose, though? You know? Like, did he lose every memory? I'm not really sure. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Huh. Buy visual novels? Nah. Buy figurines? I would have bought a figurine. An index figurine. Immediately goes away to look at the ice cream. You want some ice cream? She ain't normal though. Okay. Cap. Cap, you're supposed to be a cute lolly that loves desserts, so we can just go, ooh, so cute, slice of life. Yeah. <laughs> Can't they tell for the summer? Yeah, there's no summer outfit, huh? Like, Index literally has to suffer in this, like, sweltering Japanese heat in this fucking church outfit because there's no summer robe. No memories. Nothing. If he has no more memories, though, won't he just change fundamentally as a character? Like, all those desires, remember that shit? All those desires to, like, protect Index because he lost, he couldn't protect one girl? Like, all that shit is gone. What does that mean for Tomo moving forward? He should be a fundamentally entirely different character. Well, at the end of the day, his soul is still intact. Who he is, that, ele that, that fundamental DNA doesn't really change. So he'll eventually start behaving, I guess, as himself. But there's a lot of environmental factors that causes Toma to act in the way he did in the past six episodes. Wonder what'll happen. That's right. We can never let her know about a memory loss. Memory manipulation magic is forbidden by the church. I think that Index will figure out a way to use the memory manipulation magic on Toma. Should that be possible? I, 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 that, I am gonna theorycraft that, yes. One possible option. That sounds lame. The church is lame. Go eat ice cream if you want. Or not. <laughs> just if you want to eat it, just eat it. I won't judge you, okay? You can do whatever you want. I don't care about God, church, religion, everything that you're with. Eat the ice cream. I will not judge. <gasps> Blonde guy! Yo, it's him again! Oh shit, it's the shades guy! The blonde guy with the shades, the Hawaiian shirt, dude! Like... What is this guy all about, man?
Yeah. <laughs> we don't know who the fuck you are. We don't even know who Sensei is. What about Sensei's apartment? Yo, where's Sensei living right now? That apartment got destroyed. I hope that she got a better apartment. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> She's just a lolly, bro. <laughs> PB sized? <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. You are PB sized. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> Close for remodeling. Hamburger. Make Ronald hamburgers drive through. They really use the golden arches, huh? Except like one bigger than the other and it's like, you know, both shorter than the actual official model. He's so fucking cute, bro. Index is too goddamn cute. What the? She got three shakes. Everyone else got like a burger and a meal, right? They got a burger, fries, and a drink. Index got three fucking milkshakes. She gonna be just shitting out her pants later. <laughs> Did we pay for it all? <laughs> the hell we paid for four people? And Toma only has a drink, bro. That's how broke he is, bro. Everyone else got like a meal set. Index got three milkshakes. Toma has one drink. Probably a glass of- it's probably water too, bro. Oh! The girl from the intro scene. Try maiden lolly that killed people. She has a lot of potato chips in the tray. She ate too much potato chips? I lost. Look at Index enjoying her milkshake. This murder girl from the intro scene? Oops, I killed a guy. I had a lot of 100 yen of one burger coupons. I ate 30 hamburgers. Now I'm shitting my pants. Oh, those are not potato chips. It's hamburger wrappers. Mm -hmm. Do you have money for that? You want me to pay for it? Wah, wah. I can't go home now. That's the first thing you realize? The first thing I would have said is, Holy shit, she's as stupid as Toma with brain damage. Bruh, he's just stay straight up taking pictures of her. 100 yen, come on. 100 yen, please. <laughs> Shameless bitch. <laughs> first thing you're doing is begging for fucking chains so you can go back home. Alright, here's 100 yen. I'm out of money. You're the one asking for 100 yen. What do you, you, you think I'm cheap? You're fucking broke. Fuck you. <laughs> She's so shameless. <laughs> 100 yen. 100 yen. Dude, she's so fucking demanding. She's so demanding as soon as she hears that she's a beauty, then she immediately weaponizes it. Holy shit, her personality is just so fucking straightforward and shameless. Index don't like this. What are you? That's a shrine made an outfit. <laughs> what? Shrine maiden is a magician? Baka? Oh my god, Index is getting so hostile. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't even argue. Okay, she's a magician, guys. Yeah, about that. The memories. Oh, we gotta be careful about that shit. You want to do the same thing? <laughs> Why are there more people behind us, bro? What the fuck? Suits. It's for her? <laughs> Did she really say that? What the fuck? She's fucking hilarious. Probably one of the funniest characters so far because she just keeps asking 100 yen. 100 yen. Here it is. Oh, thanks. 
Cram school t-shirts? All of these are cr What the fuck is she? She seems to be a very important Ojo-sama, huh? These are all cram schools? And she also killed a shitload of people in the intro scene and she realized, oh, I killed again. She's so confusing, a magician that's dressed up as a shrine maiden. That has a lot of cram school teachers, okay. Maybe it's a lie. Maybe it's a lie, man. Everything is a lie in this show, remember. Yeah, in public. Where do we even live? At our place right now? Love how whenever he monologues and calls himself Kamijo Toma as in like the past and what the memories. Index immediately has gone out of the frame. Cat, take me home. We have a pet now. Can we have a pet? <gasps> Why? You named it already? Sphinx? Look at that tantrum, bro. Sphinx? You screamed and made the cat run away? Have skins from cats stretched over them, right? Shamisen. What's a shamisen? It's a, uh, instrument. Bang kind of instrument, right? Okay. What the fuck is it? Leave the foxes alone. 100 yen girl. 100 yen girl. No, I gotta follow you. The sky, the coloration, Skater. <sighs> More prep time runes. <laughs> Every fucking time, this dude just comes in ready with the prep time. I already placed the runes everywhere. Okay, here we go, Skater. What's up? <laughs> So hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why does he know the memory still? Because someone told him that, right? Even though his memories have been erased, he at the very least has some information about Index and everything, right? Who's, who told him that? Was it Steide and Kanzaki? Was it the professor? The doctor. So it's the doctor that told him of all that information, okay? And stale Kanzaki they don't know about the memory erasure. They're just assuming Toma is just as is. And Index is under the assumption that Toma is fine because, haha, it was a lie. I didn't get my memory erased. That's kind of where we're at right now. Got it. <laughs> you sent me a heart letter, bro. Was that you? Chill, bro. Classic. Imagine breaker. Are you just being Sundere, bro? Okay. You just here to deliver a letter? No, but we just heard of cram school's student, uh, teachers relating with the shrine maiden girl, so yes. Shrine maiden is being held captive? Pseudo religion? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How does a cram school become a pseudo religion? Worshipping a science? Yo, we're about to get a cult. A, a cram school has become a cult of science. Okay. Alchemist of Zurich. School of Alchemy. Okay. Yeah? What? What could happen? He could tell Index. This is so funny. State is like, huh, you're being too nice to me. Are you really him? You gotta be more mean to me, boy. We, we're supposed to be kind of like having friction. You know, I'm soon today as fuck. You're, you're supposed to be butting heads with me. This ain't you. 
イザーって、オッケー。3年前か。3年間どこで何をやっていたのか。the deep bludging held captive. Deep. Vampires. Are they hot? I want to see some vampires. The deep blood is a power to kill vampires. Got it. Deep blood's existence. If it exists, then vampires exist and we can kill. Okay. And the vampires. Like, so far we had science and, like, magic. Espers and... What is it? Basically magic users. Like, science, magic, espers, and magic. But now there's, like, more other shit. Like, what do you even call vampire stuff, right? Werewolves, vampires, fucking... What's it called? A cult? Where does that lie in? Is that... I don't know. What domain is that closer to? Definitely not science. More of like a real, something overlap? I don't know. How many more other creatures are there than just vampires? Like supernatural phenomenons, cults. I guess that kind of is in the Esper territory, huh? Deep Brodo. Deep Brodo. Go get it. Yeah, help me do it. <laughs> Alright, we're doing it together. Alistair sent him to do it. No, not index. One more time. Necessary says what? Okay. That of shackles. We gotta obey or index is in trouble. Stata is such a mysterious guy because he's in so many different factions. But at the end of the day, Stata. His loyalty, his allegiance is with Alistair, and I don't even know what he represents. He represents probably science, right? I don't know, but he just with the church, doing magic shit, but at the same time, his connection with Alistair, you know, science shit, it's, what, what the fuck? At the end of the day, he's on the side, maybe there's no side of science or magic, but it seems like he is with Alistair, he takes orders directly and is willing to do anything. No one's home. It's... Eh? Awkward. Your baby? Did you eat too many burgers too? Pregnante? Burgers, burgers. Ice cream ma It's a cat. <laughs> it's the cat, it's Sphinx. <laughs> it's Sphinx. <laughs> okay, Index has gotten Sphinx back. Index-san. Mm -hmm. That meow sound. You literally sworn the father. Dude, he's a nun. You lie for a cat? You literally swore on the father who are in heaven? That's fucked up. Bro, that has, you have no faith. Holy shit. Hello, Sphinx. Oh, it's such a cute cat. Can we keep it, please? Let's keep it. We know. The amount of mental gymnastics that Index has been doing today since the beginning of justifying why she can't eat ice cream. Bro, this is crazy. Amen, indeed. Not a cap, amen. Alright. Oh, I was a little nya from Index too. Oh, please, can we keep the cat, Toma? Yes. Alright. We have a pet. Father who art in heaven. You lie to father. Don't you dare fucking call to father right now? Jesus Christ is looking down on you with disgust. God also. How dare you lie for a cat? Sinner. 
Index is a sinner. The fuck? Thomas getting shit on too on top of that? Lies. Alright, looks like we're gonna go with Stady now. They're definitely gonna get out. They're definitely gonna get out, bro, just because he said that. Index and Sphinx are very cute, though. Now, where's Sensei, though, man? Stay <laughs> This is all this guy does, bro. 90% of his day is just fucking, just fucking rooting up shit. He's just always prepping. He's always fucking prepping, bro. Alright, thanks. Good call. He's a very good guy. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you think about it, Stata probably- is he's getting cucked by Toma as well. Imagine how he feels about all of this shit. Sure. Sure, bro. Are he's so much taller than us. Holy fuck. Look at this dude. Bro, he's so big compared to Toma. Look at these frames. There is one now and one in the heart. If that is even a thing. The cult. Do you think this means anything to me? <laughs> Who the fuck is Parakelsis, bro? Nothing! I know fucking nothing! <coughs> Sorry. Uh, law, <coughs> law of equivalent exchange? Uh, that's about it. I don't fucking know. Philosopher's Stone, right? It's always with the pursuit of the Philosopher's Stone, right? What? Alchemist's goal is to simulate an entire world? I didn't know that. I thought they always wanted the fucking Philosopher's Stone, bro. Simulating the real world. Deep it's gotta be the girl. That's pretty racist if you stated. God damn. <laughs> All you fucking Asians look the same to me, boy. <laughs> Japanese, Chinese, look at these knees. They all the same to me, boy. There she is. Aisa. Aisa. Of course it's her. As soon as we go in there, we should say 100 yen, please. Is she even still here? That's a guy that's bloodied up. What the fuck? There is something. It's a knight that's like dying, bro. What the hell? Parsifal. Is that his name? Got blood. What? Like, we're supposed to just ignore it. There's nothing here, even though there's a dude in a knight armor bleeding out. Okay. Ignore it. <laughs> They're robots. <laughs> Fuck you, it's not a robot, it's a dead body. What you, you fucking lied to me. I know, I, I was ready for that. Hello? That's it? I, I, that's the episode. I, I'm not really sure what the fuck there was up with the robot at the end, which is actually a dead body bleeding out, but I guess in this cram school, right? It's supposed to be cult-like, so I'm sure they're all expected to just chill the fuck out and act if this doesn't exist. As if you're just walking down like a really expensive downtown and you see a bunch of homeless people on the side and you just ignore it. Like, what, what the hell is with the culture over here? I have no clue. We are in a new arc of Index. The prologue is over. Toma has forgotten all those memories from two weeks ago. Maybe one day they'll come back. But it's like a fun game right now of like, oh, he meets other friends, but he has no memories. Index is pretty naive to the point where she just thinks that Toma still has the memories, I guess. But there's some moments where Toma kind of slips. I'm not sure if Index is just playing dumb or maybe she does know deep inside and doesn't want to bring it up, but I'm not sure. We also have a cat, and now we have a new character, right? There is Aisa, who is the Deep Brodo. Um, for whatever reason, she goes to the cram school, and the cram school, there's a guy named like 
e Ezert or some shit who is like super super strong and we gotta beat him because we need to get the girl. And Deep Blood exists, we can kill vampires, maybe that Izzard guy already is a vampire, I'm not really sure, but this new arc is looking pretty exciting. And Stata and Toma are working together and that's nice to see. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.